Amidst COVID-19 pandemic-induced impacts on the PNG economy and neighboring Pacific countries, BSP Financial Group Limited is still able to declare profitability in its third quarter results with significant growth in its offshore branches identified as being responsible for the overall uplift in the group net profit after tax compared to the previous quarter. We had a half yearly results reviewed by our auditors. The annual results quite clearly are, are audited as well, but the quarterly results are unaudited management accounts and that shows a third quarter we had a net profit after tax of 249 million kina and year to date just under 700 million kina 698 million kina cost to income ratio both for the for the quarter and year to date quite good around about that 37 38 percent which is a very low cost to income ratio for banks earnings per share market capitalization as we said before 5.7 billion kina, total assets of just under 30 billion kina, and a very healthy capital adequacy ratio of 23.4 per cent. CEO Fleming highlighted that PNG's retail sector has been hard hit by the pandemic, given that the country does not have support mechanisms that other countries have. It's certainly being impacted by restrictions which do get introduced to legitimately reduce the transmission of, of COVID. And at times we do understate or underestimate the impact on the informal sector. The informal sector drives a lot of retail activity. And it's, it's, it is a difficult balancing act for government to be able to protect the lives of individuals because at its heart, COVID really is a, it's a health issue. So protecting the lives of individuals is really important. But at the same time, we don't have the support mechanisms that other countries have from an economic perspective. Whilst Mr Fleming predicts a positive outlook for 2022, with Pogara Mine expected to reopen shortly and other major resource projects given the go-ahead, he also says the COVID-19 pandemic remains uncertain to cope with in the immediate future. So we do expect to see some downturn during this third wave of COVID. It's one of the reasons why everyone should be strongly encouraged to get vaccinated. And just because we emerge from the third wave come December and January, shouldn't think that COVID's gone away. Next year does remain somewhat more positive. There's, the sentiments are there. You've got government and Barrick agreeing that Porga will be open. Just a little bit, dis, um, a little bit of dispute as to when that may well be, or formalising exactly when it will be. But Porga will be open, and that's going to stimulate foreign exchange, stimulate activity in the Highlands. Apart from the retail sector being affected greatly, CEO Fleming also pointed out the impact on PNG's property sector as a result of continued international travel restrictions. Property sector, as we know, has, has felt the, the absence of international travellers in PNG, which is another reason why COVID does have to be brought under control. If we want larger numbers of tourists, larger number of, of people to occupy residences and hotels, you need to have a COVID which can be managed. And then we'd hope and expect that in the budget for next year, there is going to be an investment in the hospitals because that's one of the underlying contributing factors, making sure we have hospitals which can cope with an increasing population. During the third quarter, BSP's investments included reopening its Kerima branch last month, expanding its Arawa branch in the autonomous region of Bougainville and is currently working to open new banking centres in Ley and Mount Hagen. Dennis Orere, National MTV News.